Ah, there you are. It's been more than a year. Where have you been all this time? I have a new job for you. Help me manage my newly built casinos and drain some rich kids of their daddy's money. Take it all and give it to those who really need it. Me. I know you already know this, but let's go through the controls anyway. Move the camera using WASD or by holding the right mouse button. Rotate it with the middle mouse button. You know the drill. Use the scroll wheel to zoom in on every beautiful detail of our casino. Well, right now it's rather empty here. Let's change that. My market research team put together a checklist of objects which our potential guests will want to have. These are the requirements for a gambler type. Let's get building. Go on and open the build menu. Let's first build the items in the requirements to lure in our first guests. Good! We built everything this gambler type expects from a casino. Unpause the game now and watch our sheep, our esteemed guests, flock into our casino. <laughs> Here they are. I can already hear the sweet clinking of money entering our slot machines. Even old Gerard showed up. Just watch. He'll go straight to the slot machines and then turn to the wine bar, if he even fits between those one-armed bandits. Each gambler type has their VIP, like old Gerard here, that act as ambassadors for their like-minded gamblers. Here, you can see how happy that specific gambler type is with each aspect of our casino. The happier they are in each category, the more gamblers of this type will visit our casino. Go and improve the happiness of Gerard and his friends by adding some decoration to the casino. Me and Gerard here, we go way back. Unlike me, he went all famous actor after our dealings in Russia. Bad idea. 
Now, he's one of the slot zombies. They drink wine and only play the noisy slot machines. Excellent. Now, let's add some music to our casino. You wouldn't believe how easy it is to manipulate people with music. I got it. Just make sure to use the correct music. Thankfully, people post all the info we need on social media. I put it into the trait section of each gambler type. Study it, and build a few music speakers. Good. You can never have too many decorations or speakers, but keep in mind each object has a running cost. The only way to see how our sheep, uh, gamblers, like the new decorations and music is to wait for their feedback. Time is money, so let's speed it up. Very nice interior. So different from what they do in Russia. Come on. While we're waiting, I'll grab a quick afternoon scotch. But you'd better keep improving. Good. Good. Our casino becomes more and more popular as a gambler's happiness increases. Time to take it to the next level. A larger casino attracts more gamblers. So, let's buy a new lot and expand our casino. To buy a lot, open the Build menu and click one of the lot signposts which marks the area directly. Well, I see it as an investment in our future. Because with this much free real estate, we can attract another gambler type. So, let's find out what we need to build to lure them in. Select the locked gambler type to see its unlock requirements. Huh. They want objects we currently can't build. I'll take care of it this time. But first, let's look at their traits. Always check the traits first before unlocking a new gambler type. That way, we will know how to plan our casino. As you can see, the posh gambler hates noisy slots and yelling gamblers. Thankfully, I got some new video poker machines. They don't make any noise. Place them in the new lot far away from the noisy slots and our yelling slot zombies. I feel it. The next game will be my great win. Oh, oh, it's cool, but this would make music like they have here. Great. Before we continue, we should make sure none of our yelling slot zombies uses the video poker machines. You see, our gamblers are let's say, stubborn. When they want to play slots, they will go to the closest slot machine. But 
If there is no free slot machine close by, they will walk through the whole casino to find one. The best way to avoid this is to provide them with enough slot machines in their area. Let's do just that. just need to get the posh gamblers to play at the video poker machines. Let's look at their routine to find a way. I need to catch my flight to Moscow. I'll be back for Goodbye. Remember, our gamblers are mindless sheep. They have a routine and stick to it. They always start with the topmost activity and continue down the list. When they reach the end, they start again from the top. Well, looks like they always grab a drink first. So the best thing would be to place a bar close to the video poker machines. Bonjour. Build the remaining objects close to the bar, and we can finally greet our new, um, guest. Ideally, you should keep the walking distance short, as less walking means more spending. The next game will be my great win! You know what to do. Build decorations and music speakers. Okay, Boomer, it's Austin Powders on a mission. The same mission all posh gamblers are on. Getting their party on. Play that funky music. <laughs> I cannot stop playing, I love it. The beats in this casino, groovy baby. Party is waiting, but I'll be back. Ah, 
And the game is on. Rock and roll, baby, yeah. in this casino. Groovy, baby. I won the jackpot. This would make my Russian friend very happy. Very nice interior. So different from what they do in Russia. Just one more game of this slot machine. Music like they have here. Earn at least one trophy, and you'll receive the keys to the next casino. See you over there. I feel it. The next game will be my great win. 